Hey folks, welcome back. It's episode 24 of my Let's Play series of Shadow Empires, The Blood Lions. Playing on a ice planet and it's been pretty, it's been pretty difficult. As always, there's been lots of expansion, lots of just kind of taking over of the territory owned by nomads. Uh, we have actually pushed up to Schwarzmark now though, look. You'll see that we've kind of, I uh, really want to get into these mountains if that's the case. I need to get in there quick. We do that. There we go. I want these mountains. I don't want Schwarzmark to have that. Um... Yeah, let's we'll, we'll deal with this in a minute so um yeah it's what i'm trying to do now is just play the game a little bit quicker because a little bit quicker i don't like to play too quick because i find that if i play too quick i lose interest in the game that's a golden rule of 4x games by the way or strategy games in general the slower you play them the better they are okay um but not necessarily within a let's play obviously okay let's have a look what's going on anyway i'll show you the history so yeah, we've got um, nomads pushing up, trying to get away from Schwarzmark's expansion. Uh, they're pushing into us, but not succeeding. So we've got somebody here in the center of Barham Heights, and um, yeah, again we were at we were attacked here, but we stood firm. And again, we were attacked. Uh, they were trying to break out of this encirclement here, the rifle militia, and they and they we stood firm. Vidcom, we completed a uh, a promise to get a total of thirty private assets. For the merchant society and then we also have the same thing but this is for our subjects this is and this must have been a promise that we made so we've completed the demand and a promise uh we've completed the model of twin barrel mg4 and you'll see that that's a really good model and then we've got some stratagems so uh let's have a look at that model first i know you love this bit let's have a look at the infantry um sorry where are we uh, machine guns so yeah this is the new model. We've got a high-speed machine gun, combat armor, uh, which is going to drastically imp increase its combat capabilities. I mean, look, it's near... I mean, it's not quite tw uh, two times as much, but it, two times as good combat-wise, but it's pretty good. It's, and it's there's only a, a, a small increase in cost, re relatively speaking. So, you know, look, we've gone up from seven industrial points and four metal to five metal and eight industrial points to get the combat armor. So really, there's not much benefit in fielding the lower stuff. Especially considering you're getting almost, I mean, you know, it's not twice as it's not twice as good, but it's not far off. It's it's a decent it's a decent upgrade. So no, these are going to be my main troops. These are going to be my you know the regular troops that I'm going to be using, and uh, for for defense, they're a really really good model. Look, base design's gone up to 123. Weapon design's gone up. Arm armor stayed the same, but it was high anyway. We've got a very high roll for that, and then just the increases that we're getting in firepower and armor strength is just big. Uh, so yeah, great stuff. Remember, armor does not just increase hit points. You've got the, uh, the weapon caliber modifier as well. All right, decisions. Interior council. Uh, what do we want here? Let's leave this. I don't think there's much we can do with that. What do we What do we build on here? Um. Yeah, look, it's going to be a lot to get a new model of infantry. What have we got already? Rifle fours. Yeah, we've already got rifle fours, so let's not touch those. Um, model wise, mechanized artillery, and we've got medium tank as well. Might be worth just building a medium tank just so that we can get into things like assault guns. we could also kickstart uh, the aircraft stuff as well. Um, right, yeah, I, I like. I know. I know. Trifler doesn't like these, but I don't. I, they don't bother me. They're not. They're not that effective, but they're they're okay. Um, I don't think I'm in the mood to do aircraft design because, as you know, it's a bit painful at the moment. With the, I know Vic is redesigning this. Apparently. Uh, he's he's confirmed that he's re he's reworking the way that this works, but I don't know. It might take a while, but I, I'm not really in the mood to do that right now. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go for a high velocity gun. I think what I'll do is, yeah, we don't we don't have it's on a medium tank. Um, what are Varort fielding? Because they're going to they're likely to be the people that are going to be attacking first. What's this wolf tank? 50 mil steel plating, 60 mil howitzer gun. Uh, they've also got a uh, Kubelwagens, <laughs> whatever that is. 
I think some kind of German word. Um, medium DNA engine, five mil steel plating. Okay, so they're just kind of low quality. Um, fifty mil. If we're designing those to kill those things, I think that you know. Eighty-eight mil will do for those, and we probably want to get as decent uh, armor as possible. See what this is going to give us. Yeah, it's going to be heavy because um, we need to. Yeah, we until we start getting. I mean, look, we don't really need this yet. Kind of want a decent gun on it. I think I'm just. I'll probably have to go down to fifty mil steel plating. Because otherwise it's going to be burning so much fuel. I don't think I'm going to use that yet anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, so the worker strikes have started as expected. Um, we need to get happiness bonus up somehow. What what can we do? Have a look how we can fix this problem. Democracy is going to give us a political point bonus. Quality of life bonus, which is going to help. Political bonus. Quality of life. So it's political points and quality of life, basically. Um... Autocracy doesn't do as do much for us, I don't think. Oh, we've got suppress and rest, I guess. Not always that easy to play though. Yeah, these are mostly cards. Um Meritocracy, we're Yeah, we're looking like we, we could lose martial tournaments here. If, have we lost it? Oh no, we haven't. No, we've we've got three percent chance to lose it every turn. I don't want to lose that. Like this is really good. Operational command rolls plus twenty five is really, really good. I'm desperate to get into enforcement. Uh, we've got the bureaucratic bonus now, though. From bureaucracy, I'm pleased about that. That's really that's that's helpful. Now I'd like to go into enforcement. Please, I need some random stuff to get me into enforcement. Uh, it's really important because this. I think this game's riding on us being able to tax our people more. I can't really get anything else until I can do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go with democracy because I don't I don't want to go this high into autocracy right now. Um, it's just problematic because of the money. Holy educators, yeah. Let's get the holy educators in power. See how that affects the game balance. That might make things a bit more interesting. Let's um, what we can do here. Yeah, we'll we'll do a probing attack. Try and get some more recon points. We might win it as well. It yeah, looks like we got it. Great stuff. We didn't lose anything either. Very, very pleased. And that will get us some... Um, that's going to give us some points on field testing for our buggies too. And probably for the motorcycles. We won't be able to... We, the padded and virus suits the best you can get for bikers, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame, I think. I'd like, I would like. I think it would be nice if you could get better armour on them. But I, I guess the thinking is, you know, that the bike... The combat armour is kind of too heavy. Okay, there we are, look. Now, I kind of want to get these mountains. I don't, I don't I don't want him to cut me off from this. I'd like to get around here like that cuz I how do I have, do I have any volcanoes in my range? I don't. So this one I'm possibly going to be able to get. Although getting through these mountains is going to be hard. Um I think I think this is I'm getting out maneuvered. This is the problem with um with ex expanding as slow as I've expanded. I mean, look, we're on round 63, and I've really, I've, I've expanded very, very poorly in this game. Uh, yeah, I've made a, I've made a, I've made a boo boo. I think, I, I think, I don't know. I think, right, the, and I, this is not just me being in Ben despair mode, but I think this game is going to be quite hard for me to win because I'm running out of money. I'm outnumbered by everybody. They've got way more territory and therefore they're going to have more resources and more everything. I don't have um, a source of power, a decent source of power though, to be honest. Solar power is fine. The problem is with solar power is I think it takes take a lot of people. I can't remember what the, the issue is with solar. I've not even got it yet, look. Um, yeah, solar solar is kind of overpowered in this, but at the same time, I remember there being something about this kind of makes it so it's not quite as good as you'd expect. Um... I think we're just going to attack him with this, with this group. 
I don't normally attack with machine guns, but let's try it. I guarantee you I'll lose one. Oh, maybe not. Okay. All right, well, that's those guys defeated. Move the rest of the troops up. Um... Think something like this. Okay, yeah. Um, they might try and yeah, they'll probably escape out that way. Turn. Okay, that will make it more difficult for them to do that. There we go. I'll put those there instead. You want to? By the way, be careful about kind of careless moves like that because every time you move, you drop your readiness. And also with these guys, you're making you know with motorized troops. You also you're using fuel, so you, you you really want to plan your moves before you move them. I I'm not that careful with that. I try to be. Um, I'm not always that careful. Yeah, this is a dead loss for us. I I'd like to be able to get out here. I just think this. Look at these, man. I'm not going to be able to defeat these with two with two units. Um, I can't spare any troops. We've now pushed up um, to Schwarzmark. I'm, I mean, an early war might be an, an early. Uh, a war now might be something that I've got to think about. But, I mean, look. How do I do it? I just don't really have anything to, wa to wage war with. I don't have many troops. Um, I could probably drop the amount of colonists I'm getting now. And that's probably wise. Yeah, let's do that, I think. By. Roger that. Let's reduce the amount of... Co oh, hang on. Yeah, let's, less colonists, more recruits. I might have to drop worker salary as well. It's just going to hurt this city. But I think that it's the, it's the only thing I can think of doing to save money. Roger that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know you're not going to like that. But that, I mean, that will drastically reduce the amount of money that we're, we're going, in, we're going, we're paying. Um, there are other things that I can do to kind of, to, to raise that too. Still going backwards in food. Um, that's, that's also something I've got to figure, figure out. Now I've got an Agri Dome 2 here. Yeah, let's leave that for a time for the time being, I think. Uh yeah. I mean, yeah, what am I gonna do? I mean if I'm gonna if I do go to war, where am I gonna go? Who do I attack? Not really sure. I guess we attack into Schwarzmark, I guess. Uh, that's that's probably going to be a while. Look at that difficulty; it's quite high. Um, let's just use a spy team. Got success by putting one into this side as well. Got success there. Try and get as many spies in as possible, just so we we know what we're sort of facing. We've got eight spies in in this zone here, Freiburg. Guy's got a lot of got a lot of zones. Look. Okay, I don't want to use too many um, political points. Let's try increasing income tax one more time. No, I failed anyway. All right. I can try one more time. Okay. Uh, 40%. I think it's on 40, is it already? I can't remember now what I had it on. Yeah, 40%. It's 40% now. Um, I think we can manage 40%. Sorry guys, you're going to have to hand over more of your hard-earned wages in order to fund my, my war effort. But unless I can get into enforcement, I'm in big trouble with money. So, you know, I mean, I made some changes. 182 negative cash, credits cash flow, that's still quite big. Now, there are there are cards that we can play as well to, to raise this. But for the time being, I think I, I need to... I need my workers to get used to not having so much money. These guys are not going to be happy. That, I only raised I only raised it there, didn't I? I wonder if I can ra I, I, I only lowered it in um, in Kirkwall. How's about? Standing by. Understood. How's about so I I'll raise the work salary here. Understood. Try and get this one up, and do it here too. Oops, construct is not what I want to do. I'm gonna call uh, Peter Astro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
let's just raise the worker salary there too. Okay. So workers up there, workers are gonna start moving out of Kirkwall, by the way. And that's one thing we've got to be a bit careful of. They're gonna they're gonna start moving they're gonna start emigrating out. Um we knew that we this was never gonna be a big a big big city anyway. We just haven't got the population for it. Um, this, by the way, this kind of game, yeah, this is the sort of game that I could probably play on a long-term basis and win, you know, at like turn 500 if I played really carefully. I'm not going to make an interesting let's play, though. Because time time is not on my side, but at the same time, I could probably play defensively, get these guys to become my friends, and then get some technologies that can help. I mean, if I found a cloning facility or something, that might help things as well. But otherwise, I really don't know what I'm... I'd, I'm kind of like scratching my head as to what I can do about this. All right, folks, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, we're on round 63. History time. Quite a lot this turn. I think there's a lot of movement on the border with uh, Schwarzkopf, whatever it's called. Um, Barrel's moving around too. Hold on. Wait a minute. Back, back, back up. What's going on here? What's this showing me? Here, yeah, there we are. Yeah, Shadow Empire's got some weird stuff going on at the moment with this. Um, right for militia attack, so they lost 400. They're getting pushed on uh, from behind, so they're just trying to get through us, uh, essentially. Again, where is this showing? The game seems to be leaping about. Um, yeah, so uh, they lot, they tried to break out that in encirclement, and they lost 800 troops, which is quite a lot. We're getting lots and lots of uh, design points now for our models, look. If we just go into infantry... <clears throat> yeah, we're starting to get um, some field testing on... Inf uh, to, on Rifle 3. Now, here's I'm going to ask a question to the community here. If I build Rifle Infantry 5, what is it looking at for field tests? Is it looking at this, this, or what? I, I assume it's just going to be looking at the previous model, which means you don't want to be using these. I don't know, though. I, I Maybe this is in the manual and I've just forgotten or missed it, but uh, yeah, yeah. Answers in the comments, please. Let me know. If, I, if I'm fielding Rifle 3 and Rifle 4, and then I build Rifle 5. Does it use the field design from any of these? I think not. Because otherwise you'd be using field design, field testing from Rifle 2 as well. So, yeah. I, I think that you don't want to be... I basically want to be using your latest model. That's my understanding. Um, machine guns. Yeah, same job. So we really want to be getting the latest model out now. Because, you know, any field design is kind of being wasted. Field testing, sorry, is being wasted. Um, let's have a look at the VidCon before I move. We've discovered turboprop engine, so this is going to be a better engine for us, for our aircraft. And we've operationalized mechanized light infantry core, which is a good one. And then we've got some uh, the generic, standard cards. Okay, the militia wants a plaque. Now, let's just see what our 88 credits negative cash flow. That's much, much better. So if we just go down to the treasury cash flow, look. Um, we made a few sales, but not much. But the uh, the revenue from income tax is going up. And our our worker costs is going to be going down basically. But yeah, look, the um, worker salaries we're giving two hundred eighty four altogether. So that's much better. We we we've got to bring it down further. We can't have negative cash flow. Um, eighty eight might be enough that I can kind of I can offset it. I mean, look, if we we sell, you know, some rare metals, basically, we can make that up one turn. But then the prices go down. We're in a bit of a bind. I've been having some thoughts, by the way, on how to on how to win this game, and uh, my my thoughts are this: I need to get very very proactive with. I, I think I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to go to war, basically, and I've got to fit I've got to pick a target, and then when I've picked the target, I've got to figure out exactly where I'm going. Right, so I've got spies now into this into this domain. This this is quite a sparse place too this guy's expanded out really well but and he's got lots of zones but they're not very big but we're gonna have to take something i think right we've got to go to war now i think this is the nemesis i think this regime i think schwarzmark is the nemesis yeah it's a higher it's a higher level pretty much on everything oh no it's lower cultural level than uh, varot but if we look at the uh we go to the victory overview Schwarzmark's quite like Schwarzmark's winning. Now I've got two choices. 
right? I, I attack, because what I'm going to have to do, I've got to make friends with one, and then I've got to attack the other. I think that's the only way that I win this game, and uh, you know, in under 600 turns, which I'm like, nobody's going to sit around and watch that for that amount of time. So, and I don't want to play it either. So I think I've got to, I've got to start thinking about, I've got to pick a target, and I've got to start going, right, I'm moving in, and, you know, what are my goals? Can I defend it? This is the kind of thing that I want to be thinking about. I think with Varort um, having such a, um, you know, they got way more military than me. Um, I mean, I'm kind of high into heart, so I don't have to pay my troops very much. That said, you know, um, I still can't feel that as many troops as he is. I've got good models, though. That does help me. If I can get some good leaders, too, if I can get some really good OHQ leaders, then, yeah, maybe. The thing is, though, Varort's hard to get into. Look at this. How do I get in that? How do, how do I get through that? That's not easy. I like Varot's not got into, like, being pushed back as well, by the looks of it, by an online force. It's kind of interesting. Either they're being pushed back or, or they've just never taken it. I think that's unlikely, though. Varot is smaller. smaller. Um, I think that this is more spread out. I could probably take more territory, you know, attacking these guys. That's better for the victory conditions as well. They're all, are also close to me. If they, if I start losing this war, then they, you know, they start moving. You know, they, they can they can take me quite easily. I'd say. So yeah, it's um. I've got I've got to start making some decisions. I think. I've got to start making some decisions at some point, because uh, I, I don't I don't want the game to drag on forever. I'm enjoying it, by the way. I want to say that uh, if it sounds like I'm not enjoying it, I, I am. I'm. Uh, this is giving me this is giving me a strategic challenge that I've not had on this game before, and it's like you know this is kind of what I wanted. I wanted a game where, yeah, it's kind of one of those things where you got to be kind of be careful what you wish for, because <laughs> I I thought that it was going to be interesting to to kind of figure out how to approach a game with less population, and I think unless you're going to you're willing to play the long game and go for things like robot troops and you know all these fancy technologies, but all of that needs workers and money, and you know it's just isn't any but yeah i got my wish uh militia no i'm not spending 200 credits on that sorry can't do it national budget allocations let's wait leave that for a minute let's have a look at else what we've got theater group is making fun of our great nation ah this gives us the opportunity to raise meritocracy um had i decided that i wanted to go into democracy now though i think i did I don't want to lose operational commands, um, but I, I I would like this one a lot, and quality of life bonus as well. No, there's no there's no option for democracy. Look, we, we'll do the autocracy one anyway. Um, that upsets somebody as well, but I, I can't please everyone, unfortunately. This is gonna I'm gonna leave this as it is. Maybe put more in economic policies. I don't know if that's going to help us, but... Operationalize inf uh, army. What do we want? Mechanized machine gun infantry army might be good. Siege infantry. Yeah, there we are. Okay. That's the one. I like siege infantry. National budget. Political points are looking good now. I'm going to put a little bit less in model design. I don't need that. Let's get economic council up. I think it's going to be the big one. Meritocracy profile be raised to 56. Yeah, I've just done that one. So yeah, let's let's do that. I hope that that counts. I think it will. So we should have got that. Um, we should have won that one already. I reckon that because we've just made quite a few of these recently. Yeah, look, we're into truthful. That's good. Worker support has gone down because we dropped their wages. Look, it's going to go back up because of quality of life, at least here. Now, we've just saved ourselves a lot of money. I should have done that earlier, I think. I might have made this game a little bit easier if I'd have if I'd have dropped worker salary. We've got to basically rate we've got to make these people so happy with the wonderful luxury city that they're living in compared to the centipede eating, you know, outskirts that we can that we we can basically drop their wages very very low. I think that's probably that's probably one way to go. What a wonderful game that throws you you know problems like this. I love it so much. 
I know I say that a lot. This could be kind of, kind of become my Shadow Empire catchphrase. Oh, I love this game so much, but I really do. It's the best. Nick Rikers, sir, you are a genius. <laughs> this guy on the uh, Matrix forums who was, who was calling him the God of War games, and I kind of I put that in my Shadow, my Explominate Shadow Empire review. That, uh, no, people call him, you know, on the Matrix forums, call him the God of War games, and he he kind of Rick said to me, he goes, yeah, by the way, it's only one guy who calls me that. He goes, I kind of don't like it. It's like it makes me feel uncomfortable, <laughs> and I totally get that. Like I I think that's. I understand why you'd you'd find that a bit weird as well. Still, I think I think the guy the, the guy who called him that is right. He is the uh, he makes very very good war games. And and when I interviewed Eric Rutins of uh, you know the director of Matrix, um, who's behind Distant Worlds, which I think is a very very good game in in of itself. Um, I, I, I want to be careful because I don't, I don't want to misquote him, but I, he said something like, Vic is my favourite game designer. I think he, I think that's what he said. You'll have to go back and listen to it anyway, the Explominate review we did, uh, interview we did with Eric. Eric's great, by the way. Really, really, really nice guy. I, he's just so he's so friendly and just so humble and, you know, really, really, he was really fun to talk to. And he's fun as well. Like, he's kind of like quite, under, he's fun in a sort of understated way. Like, he's he like he can, he'll take a joke and, yeah, it's kind of interesting. He's, he's, Eric Rutens is a cool guy, man. I've got a lot of time for him. I I haven't spoke to him for a while. I, when I was doing the uh, beta testing on Distant Worlds, I was speaking to him a little bit. I like Eric; he's cool. Anyway, uh, right, that's about it for this turn, I think, guys. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna belabor the point. I think that's pretty much it. We can have a look at the um, stratagem cards. Maybe we start getting some more spies into some of these zones. Now we've got yeah, Zazarin. Well, let's get some more into this one here. Okay, that one failed. Got to be a bit careful. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to upset them too much. I don't want to be fighting anybody that I'm not ready to fight. Let's just get some spies out into this into the world. Got plenty of political points. Um, Governor convention might be a nice card to play. It improves their experience points. Uh, Failure effect was half. Yeah. Oh well. Never mind. Okay. So let's just leave that anyway. I think that's pretty much it. We probably have, oh, mind you, we built, what are we getting construction? No, we can, we can construct some stuff, so let's do that. Um, let's quickly just go through the assets. We're kind of getting to that point in the game now where I want to start using this screen a bit more. So, go to the first SHQ. Um, I want to get this out too. Don't see any really big problems. Maybe we start just increasing quality of life so that we, um, we you know, so we can. In I mean, you have to be careful because obviously the more you increase quality of life, the more workers you're getting. But that means that you can pay them less. <laughs> but you are paying more workers. So I can't be bothered to do any mathematics. I'll be honest with you. Like, I just don't. I like this game. But I don't care about it enough to sit there with a calculator. I mean, I occasionally, very occasionally do, but I, I'm not that bothered. Um. High command's gone up, so we should be getting more political points. Let's think about what we can do in this in this city here. Bureaucratic offices three might be worthwhile. Um, we also have Vidcom station. Let's get that up. We've not got one of those yet. Entertainment score is actually really high. We don't need it. So let's. Um, I'm actually going to cancel that. That was uh, that. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, be be careful. Don't you don't want to be messing around with. Don't don't add stuff you don't need, because you're just paying for workers. Um, that you know, we'd ra I'd rather have the workers somewhere like here. Uh, Corona's not so important. This one's the important one. So, Vicer. Yeah, let's get a Vidcom station up there. Yes, sir. That's going to be that's an important job. Um, now more trucks is always useful. We do, again, we don't want to be overpaying people. Look, we've actually got quite a lot of. I think roads is probably a better idea than more trucks for the time being. Now we are going to start getting some issues with. Yeah, we probably want to put a supply base up. Um, this is only ever going to be a. Uh, five. I mean, we could put one here, but I think I think 
we like we're unlikely to get more than a level one truck station here for a while so five is about where we'd want a supply base um i might put a supply base up they're very very cheap they don't take much they don't take much to keep going i think that might be useful excuse me um yeah we, we don't need rail i think rail would be a waste Obviously, if we if we are considering attacking into this area, we might need to get. Hope he doesn't beat me. I, I need this man. I'm gonna struggle to get through these mountains, but I really, 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 really need this this volcano. I think that would be a big, big help. But it's just pushing through to it now. It's not going to be that easy. Uh, should we get some tanks up? We've got mechanized infantry as well. I might wait a turn and get wow, mechanized infantry is so expensive. So expensive. The other thing I can do is probably go for industrial points. The problem is that I don't know if I've got enough metal at the moment to do that. I think metal's probably the, the big one, so let's get this road into this mine and we'll we'll start building this mine here. Uh, we might wait I might wait till next turn to get the mine up. Yeah, I'll do it like that. All right, I will end it here. See you later, guys.